Welcome back and some of you guys asked on how to mod Need for Speed 2015 after I made the video about the newest release of Unite 2.0 so This is going to be a video of just showing you how to mod it and stuff, it's pretty simple and easy I'm going to do the simplest way that I can do for you guys but let's start, so first you have to go into Discord like I have here then you're going to have to um, go and find the Unite channel in Discord or you just go on YouTube and you search Unite and they'll probably have like a link in the description of one of the videos to the Unite server on Discord then when you join it you'll see this uh, you have all the menus and stuff now community mods is for all the vehicles all the cars and stuff and then the mod which we are going to use today the unite mod all right so here you have the unite mod for e payback and the one we're going to use today need for speed 2015 so you click on that then on the right here or somewhere on the screen <laughs> if you go down you click on the download link and it's going to take you to google and then you just download uh, whatever pack you need to let's just do it for demonstration purposes all right so it's going to take you over here and then you click on this button right here download button and it's going to download all of this next up is the frosty mod manager you are gonna have to get the latest frosty mod manager as well as the data fix patch you go here to frosty updates beneath community modes then at frosty update you see all this and the version you are looking for is the first one you see actually frosty tools 1.062 then you click on mod manager the <laughs> mod manager link not the editor mod manager now you download that you just go there again for demonstration purposes and there you go it immediately downloads it not that i need it now for the data fix patch you go to a new frosty updates in mod install tutorial then you go all the way up then you see the two i will include this link in the description to make it easier um, but you go here you click on download data fix patch you download the latest one and then i'll show you in a moment what you do with it afterwards right now after you have downloaded the data fix patch you open it up then we'll see two files the data fix plugin dot dll and then you go into this folder then you see the debug and the data fix dot exe files like you see on the screen right now now you put this one side then you open a frosty mode manager file like i have here then you'll see this frosty mode manager exe that's what we're going to use in a moment but first we have to do the data fix patch before that you go to plugins all right then you copy the dll file and paste it in here then it will look like this where it's like here then you take that file you copy and paste that and plonk this over here and that's about that then you open your frosty mode manager like i have here and you, you click on add mods to add the unite mod now after you have downloaded the need for speed unite back like you see here, it's gonna look like this and it will say fb pack now you right click on that go to zip or whatever thing you use and add to a zip make it into a zip then after that it's going to look like this so when that's done then you go over here to add mods then you click on this exact zip file you have made and it will start importing then for some of you guys this whole thing will throw up an error code and will shut the whole mod manager down but don't worry that's probably normal just go back into the same frosty mod manager and you'll see like this everything is here already ticked and organized and beautiful then after that you're gonna have to open up ea app all right after we are in then you go here to tools options and the reason why we installed the data fix patch is to go here you enable it click check for updates and launch options all right so yeah you have to go to general click this and choose it's either if your game is on steam you choose steam which like me where it's on ea app 
then you choose EA desktop and you get it then you click save and then you are ready to start playing click launch on top of there then it's gonna do some stuff right and when you know the mod has worked and succeeded when you load in they will stand like unite 2.0 and also you're on the menu like you see on the left side there is unite and basically here we are in you do night mode and another way to see that your mod has worked is the flames just like that it's very big flames hard to miss it and the handling is uh it's very odd in this but hopefully you guys enjoyed this and i probably have to end this video before i get copyrighted <laughs> so yeah if you guys enjoyed this and hopefully i helped a lot of you guys uh, please leave a like leave, leave a subscribe and maybe check out this video you see on the screen right now